In this video, we will discuss the rule, anything to the zero power is 1. You will often see this rule written like this, b to the zero power equals 1. What this means is, no matter what base you may have, this b could be anything. If you raise it to the zero power, you will always get 1. Let's take some examples to see what this might mean. First, let's consider x to the zero power. When we simplify this, the only thing happening here is we have a base of x raised to the zero power. We can simply use this rule to say that anything to the zero power equals 1. So the answer here is 1. Let's take another example. Let's consider the quantity c times d, close the quantity, to the zero power. Here we're raising this entire quantity to the zero power. Anything that we raise to the zero power, whether it's a number, a variable, or a quantity, anything to the zero power is always 1. So again, we're raising just that quantity cd to the zero power, it's 1. This also works with numbers. 5 to the zero power equals 1, just like anything. Let's consider this example. x to the zero power times y. Here, the only factor that the zero power applies to is the x. x to the zero power is 1, but we still have to multiply by y, and 1 times y is just y. So often we'll use this rule within the context of a larger expression. We need to find out what that exponent of zero is applying to, what factor it applies to, make that 1, and bring everything else down, and continue simplifying. Now there is one exception to this rule. The only thing that b cannot equal here is 0. In other words, 0 to the 0 power is undefined. This is because it breaks, it will have to break one of two mathematical rules. 0 to the 0 power puts two rules at odds. One of the rules is that 0 to any power, whether it's 2 or 3 or 5 or 100, 0 to any power means just 0 times 0 times 0. Use 0 as a factor a whole bunch of times. That will always be 0. The other rule that puts it odds is the new rule that we learned here, that anything to the 0 power, no matter what you pick, is always 1. So what should 0 to the 0 power be? Should we look at this as having 0 raised to any power, which is always 0? Or should we look at, at it as something being raised to the 0 power, which is always 1? There's a contradiction there. We can't reconcile those two rules, so we just do not define 0 to the 0 power. Otherwise, anything to the 0 power is 1, unless, of course, it's 0. 